Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. Starting at number 5. Miller 280045 Black. Miller's Digital Infinity is an iconic auto darkening helmet used by professional welders worldwide. It's more expensive than the Sentinel A50 and has slightly better light and color transmission. This welding helmet is rugged and can take a beating. You don't have to pamper it, unlike the ESAB and Optrel models. But, 3M offers even more durable helmets. It triggers the ADF by detecting the arc's electromagnetic field. Since it doesn't rely on the arc's IR slash UV waves, it cannot initiate false darkening when flashed by the sun or lights in the work area. The X mode makes this the most versatile auto darkening helmet because you can weld outside and inside and never worry about false activation or getting flashed. The Digital Infinity comes in many designs, and our favorite is Black Ops. But if you don't need a large viewing area, consider the Digital Elite. It has all the features of the Digital Infinity, but it costs less. Coming at number 4. Optrel Panoramax. The Panoramax CLT is Optrel's best helmet yet. It's simply one of the best welding helmets on the market. While it has a few flaws, no other helmet provides a 2. Zero shade in the light slash grind state. Additionally, the color and light transmission while welding is unmatched. Optrel's unique approach to ADF lens design gives the Panoramax CLT the most extensive field of view in the industry. It's almost as if you are using sunglasses because you can position the ADF very close to your eyes. The headgear is large and complex, and it may take a while to adjust for some people. But Optrel's Isofit headgear design offers its users high adjustability. However, it gets in the way of the adjustment knobs located above the ADF housing. It's possible to access the controls, but it takes a few seconds to finagle your way around the headgear. At number 3. Ironton Auto Darkening. Ironton's Auto Darkening Welding Hood is a decent helmet for hobby welders. But, if you plan to weld often, we suggest you get the Hobart Inventor or the Yes Welder 900B. While they are both more expensive, you'll have a far better experience. The ADF uses older technology without a true color feature or other technology that improves light and color transmission. So, expect to see quite a dark image. So, when welding in a well-illuminated area, you cannot decrease the sensitivity to prevent false activation. Also, the battery is not replaceable, but it should hold out for the two-year warranty period. Plus, there is no low battery light indicator. The helmet has only two arc sensors, so you can get flashed if welding in cramped spaces. But, this is not a high-end welding helmet. If you weld from time to time, buying the Ironton is a good way to save money. This Ironton Variable Shade Auto Darkening Welding Helmet with Grind Mode is a lightweight, durable, corrosion-resistant and flame-retardant helmet designed for MIG, TIG and ARC welding along with grinding applications. Features fully automatic on-off power. The highly adjustable, ergonomically designed head suspension system is equipped with adjustable straps. Number 2 of my list. ISAB 070-000-0800 Sentinel. If you are a professional or you just want a high-end welding helmet with a and i popping low price, the ESAB Sentinel A50 is your best option. It's the least expensive professional helmet designed for heavy-duty use and precision TIG welding. Only the Optrel Panoramax and Miller Digital Infinity are better with color and light transmission. So, the Sentinel A50 does qualify as a premium auto-darkening welding helmet. The view quality is best when TIG welding. The Sentinel A50 matches the comfort level of high-end welding helmets from Miller and Optrel. But the Sentinel A50 is not well suited for people with large heads. Size can be subjective, but consider an Optrel helmet if you've had issues finding a hood large enough to fit your head before. The spherical lens gives the Sentinel its characteristic a euro equal factor. A euro, but the lens is also responsible for increased light transmission and helmet's durability and sparks easily slide off the spherical lens. However, these lenses are a double-edged sword. The internal glare is more pronounced, 
and replacement lenses are more expensive than standard rectangular lenses. And number 1. Yeswelder 900B Flip. The Yeswelder 900B is an excellent choice for beginners and professionals. But since it costs far less than models from ESAB, Lincoln Electric, Miller, and Optrel, it's most attractive to rookies who want to buy a quality helmet without breaking the bank. The True Color lens offers pretty accurate color transmission, but more expensive brands do provide a better visual experience. Still, Yeswelder offers a good optical clarity rating and color accuracy at a relatively low price. That means you don't have to remove the helmet between the welds. Instead, flip up the auto darkening filter visor and use the clear face shield underneath. The viewing size is large, but smaller than some of the other helmets we reviewed. It doesn't support cheater lenses, which is a shame, but for the hobbyist or a professional on a limited budget, the Yeswelder 900B is a steal. Plus, if you use our coupon code AEUROLDGIRL10 AEURO, you'll get a 10% discount. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.